Hello and welcome to FinTech 21. I'm joined by Ethan Tees, the Executive General Manager of Payments from ComBank. Ethan, how are you doing today? Pretty good, how are you? Excellent, I'm doing great, thank you for asking. I just want to talk to you a little bit about payments and where do you think payments in Australia are going to be in the next five to ten years? Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty exciting question and first of all, thanks for having me. <laughs> um, when I think about payments in Australia, there, there's a couple things I think about. Like there's three big trends. One is the opening of the payment system, which is, is really exciting and brings an opportunity for a lot more innovation and for different ways of creating payments experiences. The second one is the shift to real time where you know, we have in our account to account payments, um, we've launched the NPP in 2018 and now we're building on it. And so you're gonna see a lot more payments real time. That's gonna be great for, for businesses and for consumers. Um, and then you know, the third trend is uh, the, the data richness that, that new standards will bring to payments. And you know, that sounds kind of boring, but actually it'll bring a ton of benefits to all users of payments. Um, including the ability to have less errors and also to, to do things that you couldn't do before inside of the payment and to have more interoperability across different types of payments. Wonderful. Right? And then this is all on top of like the digital everything that we're already operating in across all of the economy. Of course. And how would faster payments really benefit small to medium businesses, for example? Yeah, there's many ways. And I, and I think one of the exciting things about um, real-time payments and faster payments is that like you don't have to know all the use cases up front. Some of them will emerge over time. But, but there are many obvious ones. I, I think um, getting paid faster is, is, is the very obvious one, which is you know, a lot of small and medium-sized businesses um, really have to manage their cash flow really carefully. And so to be able to receive payment immediately is, is potentially transformational. Like instead of having to wait till the end of the day to have credit, um, for something that, that you may have invoiced or a customer may have, um, may have paid you on, uh, you can have it straight away. And then you can use that for something else. Um, the other thing is it removes risk for the small business, right? So you can have surety of funds. You know, you can know that the payments come through and that you've done the transaction right away as opposed to saying, okay, I know that's going to come through later today. It'll settle later today. Right, we already have that with the cards, but now you can have that across the board. That sounds terrific, and I think it'd be really useful for small businesses. How do you think it could also help them drive innovation and growth to digitalize? Yeah, so the, the payments play a great role in, in just making uh, sales happen, right? So if you're thinking about any digital proposition, whether that be in store, you know, you want to digitize, move away from cash or checks, um, or in e -com, you know, the ability to accept payments in different ways is, is always an opportunity to grow. And I think where you're gonna see a lot of um, benefit for small business is, is there's innovation on top of the core payments capability that will allow you to create new experiences for your customers. Like we've seen it in COVID, you know, it, where we've all, I think, gotten used to QR codes uh, for checking in. And then now we sit down at a table and we might use a QR code to order from the menu and pay, and then not have to wait for the bill at the end, right? And, and this can open up many new experiences. That's just one example. Mm -hmm. And that's fantastic. And I think that it would really benefit small businesses in general. But thinking about the next 10 years as this kind of like open banking and uh, quicker payments come around, where do you think this will really help out small businesses, in Australia in particular? Yeah, so, so in Australia, when we think about the, the opening of the payment system, um, the first step is pay two, right? So pay two is on the NPP, and that is a new payment experience. It's built in the NPP where um, it's high consent and high trust. And I think this will level the playing field for small businesses against larger businesses that have trust due to their size and scale. So you know, today, if I want to pay someone with an account-to-account -account payment, um, with BSB and account number, or even pay ID, there's an element of trust that, that can be a little bit scary because of scams. Right? And in the pay to um, flows, basically what happens is the business will initiate the request. And that'll show up as a mandate in the customer's mobile banking app or online banking, and then they can make the payment off of that. So it's like a lot more control and a lot more consent and trust, which is always good for small business, right? Because there's so many of them, it's hard to trust every single business that, that you, you make. 
Of course. And also, thinking about you know vulnerability of these small businesses as well, does payments um, make it a little bit safer for the small businesses operating as well, or these new innovations? Yeah, I mean, we already have some of the foundations, um, but the same experience for pay two is valid for B2B payments. Um, and when you think about scams overall, a lot of the scams that we see are around account substitution. And that might come from someone getting to someone else's email and substituting account details on an invoice, or it could be um, you know, substituting a, account information in a variety of places. So we already have pay ID. And pay ID, you can have a pay ID on an email address, a phone number, or, or an ABN or ACM. These can make it safer for small businesses. Pay two, you know, can work for business to business transactions as well, whether that's two small businesses working together or a small business with a larger supplier. Uh, additionally, we already have the foundations for a lot more safety in pay ID, where um, we can associate instead of a BSB and account number, which is prone to scams, an email address or a phone number or an ABN to a business. That helps both the small business not get scammed, but also protect their customers who are eventually paying. Fantastic. Ethan, you're a wealth of knowledge, and thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me.